What's happening guys? It's Mac from Cryptstar and today I'm really excited to talk about this new technology, this new token I found out about. It's basically a layer zero bridge allowing you to go ahead and go from Arbitrum to Ethereum or any other layer two to any other layer one in a matter of seconds. Now before we start this video and I go ahead and explain everything and talk about the tokenomics as well as the bridging function and how amazing this groundbreaking technology is, be sure to go ahead and smash that like button and the subscribe button below so you can get all of the future hidden gems that I release upon you. Let's go ahead and talk about Stargate Finance. So in this video, I want to go ahead and jump from the tokenomics and then slowly go into the technology layer. First, I'm going to go ahead and cover the coin market cap and look at the charts. So you can see here after they had a huge investment from Alameda, they went ahead and pumped all the way up to $3.80. And now it's back down to about $3.20. So you guys know there is a $1 billion total supply and there is, I think, only 100 million tokens on the market right now. Yeah, it, it, it's definitely a hidden gem. However, this $1 billion total supply is a little bit wary for me. I think the technology behind it and the investors behind it are something that you really need to focus on when you're looking at this project and kind of see where it can go. So let's go ahead and take a look at the tokenomics. Another thing that I'm worried about this project is the tokenomics because the team does get 17.5% of the initial tokens. However, they do have a two-year vesting schedule. So there is a one-year lockup and a two-year linear unlock afterwards. This means that they have one year to get their technology ready and out and working and go ahead and get the price up like crazy. And then they can start selling off their tokens uh, around the one-year mark. Now, this also goes for, I believe, the auction tokens. So Alameda, they went ahead and they locked up a lot of the their tokens, I believe, a lot of USDC to go ahead and get the auction price, which was 25 cents for this token. I'm not going to go too deeply into that, but Alameda, if you didn't know, they're into Solana. Well, they're, they're one of the biggest investors in Solana. I believe they were also uh, heavily behind SushiSwap and a bunch of other huge products like FTX and uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If you follow the trajectory that Alameda has shown in the past, they believe in Stargate. They put this much into Stargate. It's probably going to do very well. Alameda has a very good uh, investor profile when it comes to cryptocurrencies. So a lot, that's why a lot of people kind of jumped in on this project when, right after Alameda went ahead and announced this announcement here. Let's go ahead and jump back to the tokenomics page. You can see here there's a 16% uh, bonding curve post-launch. Okay, so people can go ahead and you can stake your USDC stable coins in here. And I believe you earn about 20% in stablecoin single staking on all of these different pools on all of the different chains. So you can actually store your stable coins on any of these chains and you can earn APR on them a single stake right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the total value locked. This is one thing that really caught my eye was that they already have $4.16 billion locked. And a week ago, when you look at the sort of coin telegraph announcement they only had 1.9 billion and that has already doubled in a matter of days in a couple of weeks once people start getting a hold of this and start using the protocol because you can already use it to swap between layers i believe this lock total value locked could quite easily go up to 10 billion or 20 billion which therefore would also increase i believe the value of the stg token itself before we go any further, just realize I am not a financial advisor. So this is all just my personal research and you guys can do your own research and figure out if you guys want to jump in on this project as well. I went ahead and I jumped in. So that's why I'm doing a video on it. I really think the technology is groundbreaking and I think it's very useful, but there is a lot of VCs behind it. And you got to know that after a year, a lot of the tokens will unlock. So that is a large risk with this project. However, the technology behind it kind of makes sense why the VCs jumped into here and why you and I can also jump in. I think we can make some decent profits off of this as well. Let's go ahead and jump down to their community auction. So they did a community auction. This was, uh, I think, the end of March. So you could basically, let me see, you could bond you could bond your STG and you get a pretty cheap price. I think the price was 25 cents here. As I mentioned before, this is a community auction. So I believe Alameda was also able to get the 25 cent deal here. 
and the initial emissions program. This is why I believe a lot of people are going to go ahead and lock up their STG. Pretty soon they're going to have an emissions program where you can stake your STG to earn more STG and also get uh, governance points so you can vote on different protocol changes. And I believe this is very cool. They're going to have community-led sort of governance proposals and governance voting. So you can vote on, I'm guessing you're going to be able to vote on things like LP allocations and sort of incentivizations on which blockchain gets the most uh, emission rewards. Sort of similar to SushiSwap. Now, I'm not 100% sure about that, but that's just kind of what I'm you know, guessing from reading through their white paper. Let's go ahead now. We will jump into their website. I'll kind of show you guys around. They have USDC. They have USDC on Avalanche, Ethereum, uh, Binance Chain, as well as Phantom and Arbitrum and Optimism. Now, if you don't know Arbitrum and Optimism, they are both l sort of L2 blockchains that are built on top of Ethereum. So you basically can swap from Ethereum to the L2 very quickly. However, going from the L2 to Ethereum and getting those transactions confirmed takes a really long time. So about seven days. Now, what this bridge does is it allows you to go ahead and swap directly from Arbitrum all the way to Ethereum and then also to Binance Smart Chain because they already have the liquidity locked in on that chain that is allocated for the swap. And right now, they have a crazy amount of money on each chain locked up. So you can see on Ethereum, they have $700 million locked up in USDC. On Arbitrum, they have $200 million locked up. So if I want to go ahead and swap from Arbitrum, which is what I'm going to do today, I'm going to swap to Binance. And I believe they have, I'm not sure if they have uh, USDT on BNB. Oh, they do. So they have $429 million on there. So I'm going to go ahead and swap USDC or USDT from Arbitrum to Binance and show you guys how amazing this technology actually is. And this is why I'm very bullish on this project because it will solve a lot of issues that we have right now with bridges. This could be the one, the, the bridge to pretty much solve. This could be the bridge of bridges. To go ahead and end, end this uh, sort of hidden gem explanation, I'm just gonna show you guys how the technology works. It's very, very simple. So basically you can swap from USDT on here or USDC on Arbitrum, and then I can go ahead and swap that directly to BSC. Now I'm not gonna do it on Ethereum because I am working on mainnet right now. So let's go ahead and just hit max. I'm gonna sw swap all of my USDC from Arbitrum to uh, Binance Smart Chain, and then it's gonna be a really small fee. So let's go ahead and just click on approve. And I already added the Arbitrum and everything to the to MetaMask, so it's very easy. The transaction fee is 2.12. So I think this is the transaction fee on the Arbitrum side, not on the Binance Smart Chain side, I believe. Let's go ahead and approve that. And then I believe we're gonna have to switch networks. Oh, hit confirm. Okay. Now it looks like it's gonna take about five minutes to do this. Normally to do this kind of swap, it would require you to go ahead and withdraw your USDC from the Arbitrum to Ethereum, which takes about seven days. Then you'd actually have to swap from Ethereum to Binance Smart Chain, and you'd have to pay all the fees in there in between. Here, you just have to pay the small fee to go ahead and just transfer from Arbitrum to Binance, and it only takes about five minutes. And I believe it was like, when I watched the tutorial video, it took about over 20 clicks to go ahead and do all the swaps between the L1 chains. So if you're going from Ethereum to Binance chain and you want to go ahead and swap, say you want to swap Ethereum to Binance chain, Ethereum, you'd have to basically swap Ethereum for USDC or whatever. Then you have to swap that to Binance chain for USDC. Then you have to swap that for Ethereum and all in all, there'll be 20 clicks, right? But with this, with this system, oh, it didn't even take five minutes. It took like a couple seconds. Okay, so now I should be able to check my wallet and I will have. Okay, yeah, so you can see now I have $26 USDT in my wallet, whereas before I only had $13. So yeah, it only takes a few seconds. It didn't even take the five minutes that it said in the countdown timer. So that has me extremely bullish on this token. Like I said, make sure you do your own research. Don't just jump into a coin, but I really think this tech is cool. And I believe that this kind of technology that to go between chains, any layer one or layer two, having the layer zero as a backbone is going to be the future of blockchain. And if, any, if you guys want to go ahead and be part of that, I'll jump in on this if you can. That's it for my video today. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will catch you guys all in my hidden gems and I will catch you all in my next hidden gems episode. Peace out guys. Bro, we need to pop it. Everybody, go to Twitter.
hashtag the things pump it you know pump it real good we need the good pump everybody deserves a nice tezos pump